So Connor, although Tuesday wasn't the, the perfect outcome we were hoping for, the gaffer called it a great advert for the league. You'd be inclined to agree with that potentially? Yeah, I thought it was a brilliant game of football. Um, two really, really good sides playing, trying to play attacking football, front foot football. So, yeah, really, really good game of football. I think up until the free kick, I think we'd slightly edged it. I think definitely first half, we were probably a goal or two better than them. Um, we were unlucky to go in at one all. Um but yeah, second half I thought then they, they went a bit more direct and it became a level game without real any real chances up until obviously it's a, it's a brilliant free kick from the lads. So that changed the game obviously and then we're disappointed with the third goal. It's um, unacceptable to, to have that kind of goal straight after conceding. But up until, as I said, the free kick, I thought we slightly edged the game. But really, as I said, a really good game of football for the neutral especially. But good advert for the league, as Gaffer said. And as I said, two really good teams that I should expect to be up there coming into the season. Yeah, like you said, uh, a good game of football and, and up until that second goal from York, it was a game of such fine margins that could have really swung either way for ourselves or for York. Yeah, definitely. I think, as I said, as I touched on the first half, um, we won, We knew we wanted to press them and we won the ball high a lot without, I and mean, we were probably slightly sloppy with our final pass or our final bit of movement in the front line and didn't hurt as much as we should have done. But at 1-0 and probably two, three minutes before their, their equaliser, we have a brilliant chance of a rebound with gloves and... Um, he ends up being seven, six, seven yards out on a rebound. I know it's bouncing, but he's just got to try to get himself over the ball and compose himself. And that's a glorious chance to go 2 0 up. And you go in half time 2 0, obviously, the outcome's completely different. So, them little marriages, they can be big moments in games like that. And obviously, then, as I said, the game kind of was level second half. We probably slightly edged in terms of territory up until obviously a 30 yard free kick. So, we're disappointed with the outcome, but the, as I said, the big moments didn't quite go for us. But I think performance wise, we, we slightly edged the game, especially up until that, that second York goal. We had quite a few players missing on Tuesday, a few players which have been pivotal in, in almost every game this season. How much was a blow how much of a blow was that in you know across the game? Listen, of course you want you want all your players available. I mean, but every team has every team has niggles or injuries here and there and we built a squad good enough that we can rotate or we can deal with injuries better, I'd say, than the last the last two seasons. So that's no excuse. I thought we played well, the performance was good. Um of course, you'd like a steady or a Chapman when the ball turns over to run in them channels that, that opens up and they're expansive. So we miss that type of player in terms that will run forward and, and make them penetrative runs. So, but as I said, I thought the performance was good enough to, to have us going in at 2 0 up at half time and it didn't quite go that way. And in them tight games where you're not going to get loads of opportunity, the, the, the big moments are obviously key and uh, proved that way. And unfortunately for us, we're on the wrong end of it. Could we potentially see any of them return tomorrow? Uh, we've got lads close. Whether any of them return for tomorrow, I'm not so sure. So, we'll, um, we're content with the group and moving forward. There's no, as I said, there's no, we're not moaning or groaning about it. It's not a, it's not a case of feeling sorry for ourselves. I thought, I thought we played a really strong team on Tuesday. And we had a really good performance for, for the most part of the game, and, and probably deserved something out of the game going off the first 74 minutes, as we said. So, there's not no gripes from us. The lads will be back on their back. There, there's a couple not far away, but we've got, we've got a more than strong enough group to go and, and go and put in a performance tomorrow. Touching on tomorrow, then Rochdale are the opponents. What kind of game do they play and what kind of game do you think they'll bring? A uh, really good team. Again, another team that are trying to be possession-based and to be fair to Jimmy and his staff, they've done a brilliant job last year. I know it's always, it's always tough when you come down and for some reason you still have that expectancy in the fan base, but he steadied it really well and built on it again this year. And it's obviously, you can see that the philosophy he had last season and as I said, he's added to that and built on it and they're, they're even better this year. So play very similar to ourselves in terms of their system so it should be another exciting game as I said they're up there for a reason they deserve to be there watch a lot of their games they play a really good brand of football they've got a lot of exciting players like a lot of ball carriers a lot of thing, a lot of players that can make things happen out of nothing um, you can see Kyron Mitchell's on fire he's scoring a lot of goals so got a lot of good players so we, um, we know it'll be a tough test and as I said Jimmy and his staff are doing an excellent job there and we'll, we'll look forward to greeting them here when they come down tomorrow Yeah they're sad obviously doing quite well in the season Combined with our impeccable home record this season, it's on paper like it's going to, going to be another good game. <laughs> Listen, we've even the games we've won here, there's been real tight ones. We've obviously the Oldham game at home and Forest Green at home. There's been a lot of games. Not obviously you, you hear eight from eight, and you, you assume it's been playing sailing. That's never the case in football. And um, we've had a lot of good moments go for us here, and and we've obviously managed to be on the right end of the result. So we'll please God that's the same case for tomorrow. But it won't be an easy game as as um, as all our eight games here at home weren't so. We know they'll be good, they'll create chances, they'll try to play expansive football and it should be a really entertaining game. Thanks for your time, Carl. Cheers, guys.